guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday and happy Magic Mail Monday. Today's Magic Mail Monday will be somewhat short and sweet. I have um, a lot going on today just in terms of family plans, so I have a very limited amount of time to film and edit. So I grabbed four packages from my, uh, my Magic Mail stash that actually all have come from small shops, so Disney-themed small shops today. I didn't purchase these things. These actually came to my P.O. box as magic mail um, and, and as gifts. So it's still magic mail. It's still Disney P.O. box mail from you. Um, but what they all have in common is they are all from um, some lovely small shops. I thought you might like to see some, some fun fan-made Disney merch today. So that is kind of the theme of today's magic mail video. I also am kind of backed up on pin mail right now. So there's a, there's a chance that there will be a part two magic mail video later this week that is all, um, all pin mail because I've got quite a bit of pin mail that I'm like sitting on as well. So this might be a two-parter. I don't know, but I'm going to get right into it. I've got four packages. I'm going to start with this actually. I've kind of snipped it open and pulled out some of the tissue already because I was really excited about it. Um, but this is, I think, a t-shirt or some kind of shirt from one of my favorite Disney small shops for, for shirts and for apparel. And that is Ignite the Magic Shop. Ignite the Magic Shop is responsible for uh, much of my park where they do these cool little like muscle tanks and I've got like a Splash Mountain one and a Toy Story Land one and I really love their designs and their aesthetic. And they recently sent me a little surprise package and I think it's Halloween-y. I was kind of like, I haven't like really unwrapped it, but I was kind of peeking around in there because I, I like to snoop sometimes. Um, so this is from Ignite the Magic Shop and I will leave a link to the shop down below and let me see. This is their um, this is their card. It says thank you. Although I should be thanking you, ignite the magic, because I didn't order this. They sent it as a gift, and I'm very excited. And let's see. Here is wrapped in tissue. Um, I think we've got a shirt. Oh, I think it's two shirts. Two shirts. I'm so excited. And they both seem to be Halloween and spooky season theme, which is another reason I wanted to open up um, some spooky small shop stuff today for you because we are right smack dab in the middle of October, which is the best month. Um, but I'm seeing two, and the first one I am seeing oh, is one of my favorite, like the muscle tank type of shirts that, that I was just talking about. I'm like rambling my face off. But the first thing I got from Ignite the Magic says, boo to you and you and you and you, happy Halloween. So if you've ever seen the boo to you parade at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. This shirt is based on the uh, the song to the Boo to You parade, which goes Boo to you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween! Um, and it's great colors. It's like green and purple, and you've got a bunch of characters on here. You can see Minnie and Figaro, and you've got Zero and Jack Skellington. You've got a Mickey Mouse jack o' lantern, and Mickey Mouse is a sheet ghost. Such a great intricate, ornate design. And this is very on brand with their shirt designs in general. I just love their overall look and aesthetic and I love like the lettering that they use and I just love how like ornate and it kind of looks like sophisticated but still like fun and, and eye catching. I love their stuff and the t-shirt quality that they use is also really nice. So I'm totally gonna wear this. I mean, it's too cold to wear this outside but I'm gonna wear this around the house. I'm gonna wear this to the gym later on today. Uh, I love this. This muscle tank thing is like totally my my style for park wear too because I like to feel kind of cool but that's shirt number one thanks ignite the magic I love that um little Figaro is on Minnie the Witch's uh broomstick it's so stinking cute and the second shirt that was sent to me is actually a long sleeve shirt I think it's kind of like more of a a sweatshirt or like even a jersey it's a jersey style shirt um and wait till you see the design on this one this one says, meet me at the Haunted Mansion. It's a Haunted Mansion, like, jersey. It's really, really nice. Like, the quality's great. Um, it kind of has, like, that spirit jersey, like, style cut to it. And you've got Madame Leota here on the top. And you've got the evil clock on there. And you've got the singing bus and the, um tightrope walker girl with the crocodile the hitchhiking ghosts are down here this is truly like an incredible design i absolutely love this i hadn't seen this yet um but wow they did an amazing job with this and i'm so glad that i've got a long sleeve shirt because this i can totally wear like out of the house because it's fall it's about 50 degrees outside right now the sun is out if you can't tell from my um video the sun is definitely out um so that's kind of warm but it's about 50 degrees not warmer than that so i need a long sleeve deal and 
and maybe a little coat over this as well. But I love these designs. These are both from Ignite the Magic, and I will link to Ignite the Magic shop down below. And I actually do have a coupon code for Ignite the Magic. It's Kitty15. You can go and browse their site and save, I think, 15% off of your entire order from them if you use my code. So I want to say thanks to the folks at Ignite the Magic for sending me such cute Halloween and spooky season goodies. I just love that little Figaro is on this shirt. I'm going to get so much use out of these. And I will tell you, like, of all of the Disney small shops that I've ordered t-shirts from, I get the most wear out of my Ignite the Magic stuff. And I actually kind of get the most compliments on my Ignite the Magic stuff as well. Um, my Splash Mountain tank top gets lots of attention. So um, it's a cool shop. Go check it out. Browse their site. They've got a lot of really lovely designs. Next up for today's Magic Mail, I have a cute little pink mailer from one of my favorite fantasy pin shops. This is from Pin Bake Shop, Pin Bake Shop. And I have featured several pins from Pin Bake Shop on my channel in the past. And they are typically known for their little cake, cake designs, but I was kind of peeking inside this package. And this is the first time that I've gotten some pins in the mail from Pin Bake Shop that are actually not cakes. There's like a new, a new motif happening. So let me see what the note says. It says, hey Becca, enjoy the latest Magic Mail series from Pin Bake Shop. Oh, they're doing a Magic Mail themed set of pins. Magic Mail themed Disney pins. I'm so excited to see these. Hope you love them. Enjoy. Love Pin Bake Shop. Yeah, so Pin Bake Shop does super, super cute pins. And as fantasy pins go, they're actually quite affordable as well. One, two, three, four. Oh, these are super, super cute. Oh, and there's one for each of the four. Okay, wait till you see, I, I just got really excited. So these new Magic Mail themed pins from Pin Bake Shop are in the shape of postage stamps. And there is one pin for each of the four parks in Walt Disney World. So we have a Sorcerer Mickey uh, ear and hat pin postage stamp, and that is from obviously Disney's Hollywood Studios. And then it's got the year up there, 1989, which is the year that Hollywood Studios uh, first opened. Next we have a beautiful Spaceship Earth design on a postage stamp. I love the silver glitter on this one. This is really, really pretty. And up in the corner it says 1982, which is the year that Epcot opened. So you got the Hollywood Studios and then the Epcot pin. I love, 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 love the glitter. Then we have a beautiful green glittery pin with a tree in the middle. It's not quite showing up as much as I'd like on camera, but it's like tree of life and uh, very naturey, beautiful, elegant looking tree. And it says 1998. This is the Animal Kingdom pin, obviously. And last but not least, we have Cinderella Castle on a postage stamp with beautiful light blue Cinderella colored glitter in the background. And this says 1971, which is the year that Magic Kingdom opened and kind of the Walt Disney World anniversary year. So absolutely beautiful pins. They all have um, two pin posts on the back. I'm just going to take one of them out of its plastic. So there it is. I'm feeling this and the quality on these are super, super nice and the detail looks um, really, really good. So I'm really excited about this um, postage stamp series. I wonder if they're going to do stamps for Disneyland and also for California Adventure because I would totally be interested in in those because I love the California parks as well. Thank you so much to Pin Bake Shop for sending these over. I absolutely love these. I'll have to come and browse uh, your Instagram and see what else is going on over there in, in Pin Bake Shop land. And I will definitely link to Pin Bake Shop's Etsy store and also their Instagram account down below. Um, if you're interested in pins and especially fantasy pins, they are very affordable. They restock often and they've got a lot of super, super cute designs. It's a great way to like dip your toe into the the whole world of Disney fantasy pins, which really is like an entire world, by the way. It's, it's pretty intense. Next up, I have a box that says Magic Mail on it. And this is from a small shop called Felt Cute Creations, Felt Cute Creations in uh, California. So here is a look inside the box. Oh my gosh, super cute packaging, by the way. Everything's wrapped in lovely little tissues. And then there's also um, confetti. And a card, and the card says Becca, because that is my name. I was not christened Disney Kitty, <laughs> but Becca. 
Um, let me take a look and see what this card says. Hi, Becca. Your channel is so entertaining and inspiring. I hope you love everything and thank you again for your amazing channel. P.S. I don't know exactly when your birthday is, but I know it's this month, so have a very happy birthday. Love, Kira from Felt Cute Creations. So hi, Kira. Thank you for sending me this. Yes, my birthday is the 29th, October 29th, and thank you for the birthday wishes. I'm getting up there. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'm really excited to see what is um, what's in this box. And of course, I will link to Felt Cute Creations down in my description box if you want to check this out. But first, I got to check stuff out. So I'm just going to start with what's right on the top. Little purple tissue paper with some jack-o'-lanterns on top. I love the uh, I love the spooky Halloween theme. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, I think it's scrunchies. People are on a, a roll with scrunchies right now. I need to like do a better job at wearing the incredible scrunchies that people have sent me, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm actually really excited though. These look like super cool, scrunchy, scrunchy designs and fabrics. Also, can you see this? The bag is so cute, it's got little bats on it for Halloween. I know bats are supposed to be kind of scary, but if you ever look at their little faces, they're actually really cute. Leave a comment down below if you think bats are more cute than scary. I think, I think bats are super adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first up we have a Beauty and the Beast one. And it's kind of the Beauty and the Beast um, stained glass that you can see at the beginning at the end of the movie. So there's Belle and um, Beast in human form. Some people call him Adam, but I don't know if that's real or not. Um, and it says Belle, just in case I got confused. Such a cute scrunchie, love the colors on this one. The second one is Harry Potter. This is a Ravenclaw scrunchie. You've got the Ravenclaw house crest. And um, blue's my favorite color, and I am indeed a Ravenclaw, except for when I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> Next one is Disney in Halloween theme. Do you You've got some um, jack-o'-lanterns with Mickey Mouse as a ghost. So cute, perfect for this spooky season. I love it. And last is this one, which I think is my favorite. It is a Deathly Hallows scrunchie, which is Harry Potter, if you if you didn't know. And the little Deathly Hallows symbol is like in a shiny gold on black. Like that looks super, super slick. I'm I'm pretty pumped about this one, especially. Awesome, I love the scrunchies. I'm totally gonna wear them. I, I have yet to wear my scrunchies in a video, but I've been wearing them like to the gym <laughs> when I'm teaching yoga. When I pull my hair back though on camera, I look like kind weird so I don't often put my hair in a pony when I'm filming if that makes sense okay this is what is this I'm a mouse ear and knotted headband strap holder I think I understand what this is this is this is really creative and awesome and it's haunted mansion themed okay Come on, Becca. Okay, this is amazing and so, so clever. So this attaches to your bag, to your keys, to your backpack. It's like a little a little clipper. And then there is this little strappy guy, which you can open. And you can use this to safely and securely strap your mouse ears to your purse. So it's all fastened in there nice and tight, and then I can just strap this to my purse, like so, and then they like hang on to your bag. That is so freaking smart. Do you see this? So freaking smart. You could probably even fit like two pairs if they weren't as bulky as these ones. I love these ears, by the way, my Tower of Terror ears. Um, so you can like strap it to your bag, and then when you don't wanna have your ears on your head, you can have them like hanging off your bag like a cute decoration, and then when you wanna put them back on, you just put them back on. This is a brilliant invention, an idea. I'm obsessed with this, and if you can't tell, it's the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. So you've got Haunted Mansion and Tower of Terror all in one uh, situation here. This is a pretty, pretty good mood, if you ask me. Dang, I want some more of these things. This is actually really, really brilliant. But wait, there's more inside this box. Let's see, next up we have, everything is so nicely wrapped. Oh, I think this is a little, um, I think this is a little coffee, coffee cozy? It is. So this goes around your coffee cup. A little um, crocheted, or knit, crocheted, I don't know the difference between knitting and crocheting, if I'm being honest, um, for uh, on your coffee cup, which I carry coffee with me all day, every day, and can you tell what this is from? This is actually a Harry Potter theme. This is Luna Lovegood's glasses uh, from Harry Potter, and she's a Ravenclaw like me, and this is just so cute and feminine and, and quirky. I don't really have any coffee cozies, did you know? So this is like my first coffee cozy ever, I think, of my life, and it's adorable. And I think this might be another one, just based on the shape and the feel. Yes, Coffee Cozy is a Mickey Mouse ghost, and it's purple. It's kind of got that Haunted Mansion vibe to it, plus Mickey is a sheet ghost. I'm gonna be taking this around with me for sure. 
so cute and here comes the last little package from here this is super cute this is a key fob a little keychain this is also adorable it's very halloweeny and seasonal so we've got green and yellow stripes with little purple bats which goes along with my um my comment about bats being cute i really do like bats of all the scary halloween themed things i think bats are my fave that's adorable this would be good to put my keys on for the rest of this month for sure Believe it or not, there is actually one more little packet inside my box. These are stickers. They are all hand-drawn and digitized by Kira. So she is quite the artist. These are awesome. I, you know I love stickers, so let me take this out and see what the sticker situation is. You're very creative, and I, I like love the aesthetic of your shop. I love that it's called Felt Cute because everything is so stinking cute these are amazing we have the disney baddies sticker sheet so all the villains i love that hades is on here and evil queen maleficent dr facilier we've got the llama potion <laughs> that's awesome and then we have another sheet of harry potter oh my gosh there's hedwig with luna's glasses on these are so beautiful and their quality is really nice like really beautiful glossy paper this is extremely impressive. I'm, I'm really loving these stickers. And there is also this little set. I think they might all be, um, they might all be Nightmare Before Christmas stickers. Oh my gosh, they're so great. Are they stickers? Or they might just be like little die cuts. Whatever they are, I think they're, I think they're, I think they're little die cut decorative pieces. So we've got Jack, Skellington, Oogie Boogie, Sally. Oh my God, she looks amazing. Uh, lock shock and barrel and what just fell to the floor little zero these are beautiful I can't believe you drew them all they all look fantastic I particularly love how Sally looks oh she's so in love these are amazing thank you so much Kira from felt cute creations I loved everything in there and I'm especially obsessed with the thing that holds the ears. This is seriously so smart. I love this little doodad. I, I need to get some more of these. That's so, so cool. I will leave a link to Kira's shop, Felt Cute Creations, in case you wanna check out her coffee cozies, her stickers, her really cool ear holder bag clipper things, like so much awesome stuff. And I'm just tickled. And that was such a like fun, like spooky, or I guess spoopy little package. And that just made me really, really happy. So thank you so much. I loved it all. And I like cannot wait to use Use this in the park. I'm I'm like beyond excited about this. The final package for today's Magic Mail video, a little small shop feature, is from Megan from the small shop Magic Plus. And recently in a Magic Mail video, I shared a t-shirt that she sent me from her store. Um, her Etsy shop is Disney, sh Disney shirts, but very size inclusive, so they have extra small all the way up to, I think, double or triple XL, L, like really like a wide range of sizes and everything stays as well stocked as, as she can keep it. Um, but she had sent me the Eeyore shirt that said, it's okay to not be okay. And so many of you got like obsessed with that shirt. It's such a good shirt. And um, she said that she sent me another little package for my birthday. Um, and I'm guessing it's from her shop. So that's why I'm including it um, in this video. But let me just open this up and see. So here is the note, it says, Hello Becca, happy birthday month. Inside this package is a hauntingly cute shirt that I hope you enjoy. This is great for Halloween, but also any trip to Disney. I hope you like it and have a wonderful birthday from Megan from Magic Plus. Thank you so much, Megan. I love the Eeyore shirt. I've been wearing it all around. My mom's obsessed with it too. And here comes the shirt. I am excited to see it. Ooh, ooh, the design's on the back, which I kind of like. So here is the design of this shirt. It says, home of 999 happy haunts, but we are dying to add more. And you've got the haunted mansion on there and some ghosts peeking out over the edges. And it's so super spooky and it's definitely great for Halloween season, but also any trip to Disney, especially if you're going to Magic Kingdom or to Disneyland and you're planning to ride Haunted Mansion. I love Haunted Mansion. And on the front, it's a V-neck, a little mini V-neck. I love a V-neck. And it says Magic Plus on it. I love it and I'm so like happy to represent your shop with this shirt because I love what you're doing, you know, for people, bringing magic to, to everybody. And I love that your shirt, the whole message behind that was so touching and, and lovely. And I love this too, it's so it's so stinking cute and I'm totally gonna wear it around um, for the rest of this month and I'll probably pack it on my next trip to Disney. Thank you so much, Megan. Also, I was feeling 
in this package. I think there's a couple other little somethings down here. Oh yes, there's two stickers and there's Snow White. And then there's a pack of Pocahontas trading cards. I love little like Disney trading cards. I used to collect stuff like this when I was a kid. Um, so this is a pack of Pocahontas trading cards. I might save this to open for a rainy day. And then two really cute, two really cute Snow White stickers for my Disney sticker collection, which is ever growing. These are beautiful as well. Oh, I love this, all the color and like the, the mountains and hills in the background there. Cool. Thank you again, Megan, for the lovely birthday wishes and the gift that was not necessary, but very much appreciated. And I will definitely put both of your shirts that I have now to, um, to super good use. All right, everybody, that is it for today's Magic Mail Monday. A little bit more brief than my usual Magic Mail videos, but today is my brother-in-law's birthday, so we're going to birthday dinner. I need to get some exercise in, and I need to edit this and get it up because it's actually today. It's Monday as I'm filming this. My, my weekend got kind of hairy, and I couldn't film this in advance, so I'm just banging it out right now. Happy Monday. It's, it's a magical, manic Monday. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what is happy about your Monday or what you are looking forward to this week. I would especially love to hear about any fall fun festivities that you are doing because it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I'll be back really soon with more Disney related videos for you. I might even be doing a part two of Magic Mail this week with some pin mail features. We'll see if I can get around to that, kind of knock on wood a little bit <laughs> with that. And until until then, have a magical Monday and I will see you real soon. Bye guys! Mwah.